Hey guys! So today we're going to do a get ready with me video. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up uh, like editing through this, but I know some, a lot of people do like the get ready with me, no edit. So normally I don't have um, my hair done when I do my makeup, and of course I did it for you guys. And normally my tooth is not in when I do my makeup, but for you guys I put it in and kind of got my face ready. So I did obviously do my hair and I did... Um, wash my face and then I used my Mary Kay toner which is almost gone I need more of ah! I used my Psst dry shampoo and it's almost gone I used this when we went to California and if you guys don't know hi um where the heck have you been I was in California for 60 days well on a 60 day vacation um just got home as of yesterday it was a week that we've been home so very exciting and then I also put this my Clinique moisturizer on my face I have the big bottle or the big um, container this is just the one I took traveling and then I also put the Physicians Formula oil on my face I got this because of Rach Loves and I'll talk about this in um, I did a bunch of hauls after I got back and I think some of the, like, the makeup hauls are already up um, today I'm going to be uploading this one. Um, so, the first time I used this, I made the mistake of not watching her video completely. We had to go and I was like, oh my god, I'm trying this oil. And I literally took the dropper and I went joop, joop, and I'm like dropping everywhere. And oh my god, I was the greasiest grease ball ever. And I was like, oh my god, and it literally was on my face all day. All day. So now I literally take one to two drops of it, really warm it up in my hands, and then pat it, which is exactly what she does, and that's how it works for her. So I literally just sit here and pat it on my skin and then let it sink in. And then for primers, I used my Revlon Youth FX, and this is the forehead wrinkle one. I literally have, if you look at this wrinkle, I literally have one wrinkle line right here. So I tried to fill it in with this as a blur primer. I've been using it for a week and I haven't noticed anything. I even try to use it when I'm not wearing makeup and honestly, I haven't noticed a difference. So we're going to keep trying see if it does anything, but I think I'm going to actually have to get like a serum or something. And then I used the NYX Shine Killer um, primer because I sweat like a banshee and it's, <laughs> it's 66 in my apartment and it's only like 63 outside. We still have the air on. Yes, I refuse to shut it off. Um, but I'm like still sweating like I just sweat all the time and it's a mess and then I have my beauty blender ready to go <laughs> so yeah um, I'm literally sitting like it, it's weird it's weird how I'm sitting um, but because I have all of my primers on already I'm gonna go in with my concealer I always put my concealer on first and this is my Laneige cushion concealer I love this thing I got it from Target it is I feel like it is identical to this which is the Maybelline um, Age Rewind. I have not actually opened this yet um, so I'm trying to use this one first and I like also how it shows you how much you have left. This I think I got on clearance for like eight dollars and I was like oh I heard people talking about Laneige and I just never bought anything because originally this thing is like sixteen dollars. So you click it and the product comes up. Click 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 click. There we go. I love this concealer. It is pretty light, but you can really build it, so that's why I pretty much do this with it. Um, ah, I didn't mean to click it again, but it's very, very buildable, and it's, I like it. I like it a lot. And then I just use, like, the pointy side of my Real, Te Real Techniques blender. I am not a makeup artist by any means. I love doing people's makeup for photo shoots and stuff, but that doesn't, that's not my job. I don't do it all the time. I, I suck. Sometimes I suck at makeup. I like the way I make my skin look, but my eyes never look good. So, kind of just blending this in right now. And then it looks like super, super flawless, and I really like it. Here, let me do this. It just looks super flawless, and ended up really, really, really liking it. Now, because I'm not so... <laughs> I'm not actually, surprisingly, I'm not as pale as I normally am. Um, being in the beach for a long time, I got like the slightest hint of color. I'm not, maybe not albino anymore. Um, so I haven't used this foundation yet, but I don't feel like I want that much coverage. And I really want to try this out 
but today I don't need that much coverage. So I'm just going to go in with my Clinique Age Defense BB Cream because I bought this for the trip and hardly ever used it and it's not going to work for me when I am super pale. So I kind of want to get the use out of it while I still can. So all this is going to do is cover up my redness because I got some. Oh, and I also primed my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. That is what I did to my face before you guys saw. Because I was letting it all sink in while I was doing my hair. But Ah, is that a pimple? Oh my god, my forehead's getting pimples. I'm wondering if it's from that Revlon um, primer. I didn't wear makeup the entire time that I was there. So I think I wore mascara like twice, but I never even used this BB cream. So I want to get used out of it before like it goes bad. I think it's Tiffany Dawn. Oh my God. But I really, really like her. I've been like watching her a lot and I'm like, oh my God, I have 3000 subscribers. She has 3000 subscribers. We're like on the same level, but we're so not. She's so amazing and she has so much makeup. And I'm so jealous because she like has so much makeup that she can pick from like new stuff every week and I'm just like I want to pick through stuff every week so literally I'm sure everybody on here watches her too but if you don't like go freaking find her she's phenoms. Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Banana Powder. I have only tried this a few times and I'm not the most crazy about it. but I want to try it again. Um, yeah. And then I usually pour it into a little container and which right now I'm using my Benefit Cheek Parade. I'm using the empty slot. And then I mix my HD NYX um, white powder and I'm able to create a good foundation for that. Um, Brushy, brushy. This is one of my mermaid brushes I got from Amazon. I really like how it's flat and it really just works for baking the under eyes. Not necessarily baking, but really powdering under my eyes. I don't feel like the banana powder by itself I feel like it really clumps up and grabs to the concealer so but I like it when it is combined with um, the white powder because I feel like it it is it's got more something to grab onto it's not as finely milled as the NYX HD powder which is what I like I like really really finely milled powder so there we go. I have now officially set under my eyes. And now I'm going in with a big fluffy brush. My big Elf Flawless Face Brush. And I'm going to use my Stay Matte, my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. one thing I want to say about this palette really quick the blank palette I'm obsessed and I did like a whole eye look out of it and I love glitter you can't have enough glitter when you're me um but it literally like I you I I feel like I have to find like I used a glitter primer and to like make it more tacky I've used different primers it always ends up like literally bleeding out and going over here so I really feel like I'm gonna have to use a matte crease color to really pack it and define it that way the the shimmer isn't gonna leak like bleed oh my god I was so mad I'm literally like wiping it wiping it and then it goes again and then I'm like wiping it wiping it like it's a mess so for cheek products I know the benefit cheek parades right in front of me but I really want to use my beauty and the beast who is texting me Oh, I was supposed to call my doctor today. Oh, well. Plantar fasciitis. 
um, my Disney Beauty and the Beast palette, which I love. I think this is perfect, and I think if you want a golden highlight, like if you want, if you're okay with one highlight and a couple blushes like I am, like I'm more of a blush person than I am a highlight person, um, I would just take this because this is a beautiful golden highlight and these are perfect blushes, they're different colors, they really just go with any outfit and they just go with anything. So I love this and I feel like this is the perfect travel palette and it's got a really nice big mirror. Take this uh, brush that we got in our boxy charm and I kind of want to use, I use rosé all the time, I kind of want to use the C Beyond. This is really pigmented too, like you don't need to really push your brush hard on this. Like I really don't feel like you need to really press your brush hard at all. I like that a lot. I think it's super pretty. So. <sighs> I give up. Um, I'm going to use, I'm like sweating already. Like literally I have so much sweat on my lip. Like I literally just sweated like all that makeup off. Um, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome as a highlight today. Um, I don't think it's as pigmented as some people say, so we're gonna go in with the mermaid angled brush that I have, and I'm obsessed with this brush. I feel like I should have sprayed it or something. And then I was always taught to go in a V. But like honestly, I don't really see that much pigmentation as far as highlight. I don't feel like it's that crazy on my skin because my skin is so naturally pale that it's just kind of a natural color. But if you had darker skin, I can see how it'd be so beautiful. And I'm so jealous of everybody that has that dark skin. And then I'm also going to use my Physicians Formula Bronze Boost. I normally, like this is my normal like bronzing. And then this one I think I'm going to try to use today. Um, I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to try. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, it's like the bronzing brush. I think it's so pretty. And we're just going to kind of dip it in here. And see what it looks like. I think it's okay. Also, if you're like new to my channel and my eyes cross, I have Dwight syndrome. I was born with it. Um, my eye muscle never formed, so I don't have peripheral vision. And when I look a certain way, my eye does that. So don't be alarmed. I feel like this is also a really sort of gray tone neutral bronzer, whereas the Hoolas have more of an orange tint to it. I think that's basically it for my face except for my brows suck I don't even know how to do brows so I'm just gonna do well I can do it on other people but I cannot do it on myself um I'm gonna use my NYX tinted brow gel because this stuff is literally like my favorite I have a really giant mirror that is supposed to clip to that dresser and hang there but I have stuff up so I'm almost wondering like if I should kind of take out like the parts that are supposed to clip to it um like cut that off and make it just a giant mirror so I can use it and do my makeup in other places rather than just like right here so that I have a makeup or a mirror every time I want to do my makeup so I'm not like looking down like this like my sweat literally like sticks like my sweat is crazy crazy so that is basically it for my face. Now I'm gonna go into what I want to do with my eyes. Um, I have so many new eye palettes, I don't know what I want to play with. I don't know what I wanna play with. Um, what's down here? 
let's actually, you know what? I haven't done my Galaxy palette since I've been home. So, well actually, I haven't done my Galaxy palette at all. This is the only palette that I took, the only eyeshadow palette that I took with me to California. Oh my god, I could live off this palette. My favorite thing to use is Cosmic as a highlight. And sometimes I use Electra as a highlight as well. Um, they're just so gorgeous, which is why when I picked up the Aurora palette from Anastasia, I picked it up because this reminded me of the electric electrode um, shadow from here. So I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime to use this. This is literally like the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love this palette. And it's only $14. So let me get my Prep and Prime. And the only thing about these brushes is they don't pack on as well. They're more flimsy. So... I am going to do, and I usually start with either Sun or Milky Way, I'm just going to do, with my shirt, I'm going to do Milky Way because my shirt's like a pretty pink, so here we go. And I am by no means a makeup artist. I am by no means great at this. But I just think it's so pretty. Oh my contact. Wow. Um, I just love the way it just literally makes my eyes just look so awake and open. Because I have dark eyelids without um like this is just so pretty. Oh my god, I literally love this. I feel like I might use a little bit of cosmic as a highlighter too. There we go. So wipe it off. And then I'm going to just go ooh, ooh, and spray the palette so that I can use that. Um, Asteroid is probably one of my favorites, but I really need a packing brush for Asteroid. So we're going to go in. Asteroid is so pretty. It's one of my favorites. It's actually what got me into this palette. Um, Ipsy sent us a Asteroid sample, and it was like, oh, Galaxy Chic, this is the color in Asteroid. And I was like this is gorgeous and the way the light hits it it's either like blue or brown and it's gorgeous and I went and looked at this palette and I was adoring it for years and then my best friend bought it for me and it was like a Christmas present so I was really excited and I have not put this down <laughs> like literally I would give up all my other oh shit that's pigmented I would give up all my other eyeshadows just to have this palette because I'm obsessed And then my favorite, 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 favorite blending brush of all time is the Luxie 205 Tapered Blending, which we got in an Ipsy bag. And it's literally amazing. So I really blend this out just so that the blue is slightly there. And then I always have Fallout, and that's my problem. But... I love it and I just think that it looks so good so we're gonna this brush I don't know what it is but we're gonna actually use this and put some of cosmic on us so because I like cosmic and I feel like it makes it just really glows and then you've got my sweaty lip <laughs> it literally is like disgusting so that was my galaxy chic palette and now I'm going to just go in an X shape, which is what I was showed. Um, spray my face. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with mascara because I'm not even gonna try with eyeliner because I can't do eyeliner save my life. So, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. mascara primer first. And then, I don't know, should I open it? Normally I'd go for my um, Urban Decay Perversion Mascara because it's like the best, but it's the only one I have open right now. Let's got big fibers or something, it's new. Um, I just picked it up from my Ulta haul that is already up. Um, so I'm gonna try it today because I have not tried this yet. So we're gonna go in because I want to, yeah, see, it's pretty. It's pretty for me, okay? And then the highlight is gorgeous. 
And then we're just going to go in and I'm going to use this mascara primer. My favorite mascara primer is the um, Lancome one. But this one works for me because I have naturally long lashes. So. And because I don't use an eyelash curler. Like, because I don't use an eyelash curler. I think it works. Let's go in a little bit more actually. Whoa, I didn't mean to go in like that far. Oh, I just love how long my lashes are. They're crazy long. Like, they're so crazy long even with just primer on them. Like, that's why the Wet n Wild mascaras are crazy on me and they work so well. So, let's see what this L'Oreal brush looks like. Okay, so the first of all, the brush is very normal. There's nothing about the brush that's different, so I'm just wondering how it's going to go over this mascara. Wish you guys could see the faces I'm making right now. Oh, wow. So it's not thickening, but it's very lengthening. So I feel like it's, well... I don't know how much more length you can get with me, but I feel like it's not, for me, it's not adding that much length because, like, compare this eye to just the eye with the primer. Like, I don't see too much of a difference. I just see it's black, and it's not really thickening, which is kind of nice. So this could be almost like an everyday mascara. Yeah, it could be almost like an everyday mascara because it's not too crazy crazy, but it's also not like, ah, hair. It almost feels not wet enough. And I like a really wet mascara because I feel like I can really get it to move. I almost feel like this is dry. So this is the final eye look. I also used a little bit more of Asteroid to kind of blend underneath because I really wanted kind of more of a smoky look today. Um, we're just going to the mall to pay bills. <laughs> To pay my store bills and um, going to Dairy Queen. So it's literally what I'm doing. I just wanted to get all nice and pretty. And it is a last all day kind of color. So that is my lips. First I did this and then you, when it gets tacky you put this on. I always have trouble with lipstick. Like I said, I'm not anywhere near good at makeup. I just kind of do whatever um, I think looks good. So, I like it. I like it the blush a lot. It's really pretty. So, that is my look, you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.